So I'm going to show you another brief video that shows you how when you've got uneven loading or maybe misplaced beams that you're going to start to get torsion on those roll form, particularly on the roll form uh, type of racking that's going to start to buckle and twist it out of its true strength, which is vertical vector strength into horizontal strength vectoring. And let's see in this next video how an I-beam turns from vertical into horizontal strength. What you see in this video is an I-beam that usually gives great strength in one direction, but once it starts to get a little bit twisted, that the design of the beam starts to fail structurally because it's no longer being supported by the design and the engineering of what an I-beam or what a racking column is designed to do. You can see how the horizontal forces on beams can start to cause failure. And that's exactly what happens in a lot of racking systems, a lot of engineering, structural engineering systems. You see the beams get horizontal forces that they were never designed to support. And this looks a lot like a what could happen to a column if horizontal forces like uneven loading, uh, certain types of bends, certain types of twists, the lack of lateral supports like struts and things like that can cause the beam to go off its center line and have torsion distortions and deformations that will cause the I-beam, that will cause the column to lose its strength due to various forces that we're seeing here on the screen. So just like you can bend the ruler in this direction, but you can't bend it in the other direction. That's exactly what's happening to your columns. It's being bent in a direction that it wasn't designed to handle. And you'll start to see kinks and deformations within your column system. So this needs to be checked for, and it needs to be prevented by following all the other engineering principles that we've been examining so far. This is another priming issue that is often overlooked.